Mm, what's up, guys? This is the Road for Man and I am back to bring you to the first episode of a brand new campaign in Empire Total War Darth Mod. The campaign that's a world domination of Grand Columbia. So, to get to Grand Columbia, uh, I've got Darth Mod installed, additional units mod, and all factions mod installed. But I've set the campaign to Darth Mod Empire late, so that's why the year is 1821. Um, some technologies have already been researched, lots of the basic ones, so we're going to end up um, finishing our tech tree a bit quicker than usual. But at least interestingly, we're now playing with additional nations in the world, such as Mexico, such as the United States, which is pretty fun. Mexico, and in India, Afghanistan is separate, Punjab is separate, well, separate at least for now. But I think those are the big ones there's the kingdom of naples and sicily there's probably a few other um, nations in europe that pop up but those are really the big ones uh, britain already owns gibraltar um but yeah here we are we're grand columbia and we are in a really good position because we are an emergent faction and most emergent factions in empire don't really have any enemies so if I go to Diplomacy, because we're going to want to start to get some trade relationships, nobody has any opinions about us, so we can be quite um, deliberate in who we pick for trade. So I want to trade with the Ottomans, because they're usually quite good to trade with, not for money. Don't want to pay for them. Um, the Marathas. The Marathas are owning a lot of India. Actually, let's try. If we can trade with the Marathas, let's also try and trade with... Britain, because they are allied with the Marathas. Then what would be good and fun is I think it would be good to try and trade with America. No, they don't want to trade with us. That is fine. Let's try and go for Austria, because Austria allied with Britain. Nope. Let's try... Let's try France. I'm not going to trade with Spain, because Spain is... Well, I shall get into that later. Let's pick... Mexico as our brother Latin American nation. Then let's pick... Quebec would be good. Getting quite a lot, actually. Uh, let's try trade with Greece. Nope. Okay, let's pick some minor nations. Let's trade with Afghanistan. Nope, they're not interested. Uh, let's do Portugal. We're allied with Britain. See, I'm not going to pay them any money. Because we've got a lot of things to spend money on. Hanover, let's try you. Nope. Mamelukes. Nope. Mysore. Nope. Let's go back to the large countries. So, Prussia. I don't want an alliance. But I'll pay that amount. That's a small amount. Let's try trade with Sweden. There we go. It's all our trade routes blocked off. And that's why I've recruited those sloops right off the bat. Because that's going to be really important. So, we start off... Well, really important to uh, try and keep our trade... Slots open, I may kick off the recruitment of a fifth rate because we will need a strong navy. So, we have the regions of Bogota and Krakas, and that's pretty darn good because Bogota has a whole bunch of mines plus a good number of ports. And then Krakas has a mine, it has it will eventually gain two ports. And we've got farm and we've got some exports in the form of coffee. First thing I want to do is go to my boardy house knock it down so i'm going to replace it with a university because i don't have one let's go to my policies drop them so i'm gonna get a load of income from trade so i don't need to worry about my tax policies yet now my ministers leave something to be desired i imagine i can't fire anyone yet but i imagine that's probably going to resolve itself next turn Let's go for road upgrades. That's going to take all my money. But we've got a lot of mines to upgrade. Um, government buildings to upgrade in Caracas. Starting to grow already. And that is lovely. 
But no one's no one's got any beef with this. Mexico will eventually. I don't want to ally with anyone just yet. Thank you. <laughs> they want me to give give them New and Lucia, and they'll give me all this tech, including fire by rank. But it's good intelligence to know that is already out there. So the major players probably have it. So I, I likely want to be careful about starting too many major wars until I've got it. I can maybe pick off some smaller targets of opportunity against Spain, but I do need a good navy, because Spain will try and choke off my trade. The United Provinces are a good shout if I can get to their territory before they lose it. Yeah, Punda. They normally flog it off though, so I may not get to it. These end turns will take a bit longer because you've got a lot of nations. It's been a while since we've played um, an episode one. But as as the world changes, certain factions will be destroyed and then we will continue. But my broad plan is to island hop. That's unfortunate. That's going to cut some trade off from Britain. Um, but my plan is to island hop around... Ooh, it's like a Saxony saw off the Prussians. But I want to island hop to gain more trade resources to export. More exports, more money. We're going to be quite a dispersed empire for now. At some point, Mexico will fall. That's part of the reason why I did not want to ally with them. Because Mexico City is another territory that would be very valuable to own. But right off the bat, let's get my university built. Let's get some economy built. Okay, economic buildings built. There we go. So we're going to build a school. Then we're going to immediately build the conservatorium because it's just a flat happiness growth um, building plus growth in town wealth. We've got 9,000. So war between Prussia and Poland. Poland and Austria. Poland and Russia. I think, you know, it sounds like Poland. You're going to have to work very hard to stay alive. So I want to go for a... So a basic seal of your mine is 1750. An upgraded one gets me effectively an extra 350. Compared to a gold mine, gets me an extra 200. And you'll be the same. So the silver mine gets me the best immediate returns. Let's get the farms upgraded because they are cheap. Gem mine... 700 to 1000 plus 300 that's still better than the gold mines so let's get that upgraded as well church school don't need you let's get rid of that and we will upgrade oh, craft workshop gets me plus 300 per turn to town wealth plus eight per turn to town wealth growth so i want that 1500 exactly sixth rate is good. I'd need something. Okay, we can't research. We don't have fire by rank. So I want to make sure I get that. Well, that's the first thing to research. Spain is building up, so I'm somewhat concerned that they're going to go after me. Just a second, everyone. Aha! An alliance. No. Fire by rank is valuable, and I may end up having to buy it in the event of a major war. But if I can get one university built, I can start chipping away at tech. Right now, it's not a huge problem, because I've got a small empire and more money than I can currently spend to upgrade things, largely. And that's good from an expansion standpoint, because I can afford to build an army. But for now, let's just keep on building up our squadrons. There's no pirates at this time, um, so there's no easy territories in the Caribbean to grab. So right there. Galleon, Bith, and a Brig. I may actually move one of these sloops may be somewhat surplus to requirements. Okay, let's get another fifth built. I could build my own Galleons. Let's do that. Let's get a galleon built and let's get a, another fifth built. 
And I'd like to send that galleon off to try to see if they can grab a trade region. Okay, 1,153. Governor's Palace is always good because it gets it out of the way. I mean, it gives us good bonuses, but I'm not, you, you know, you're never there going, oh, I wish I've got the next government building upgraded. Just, for, in my opinion, you just get out of the way earlier. It is good, it is valuable, it is worthwhile, but for now, we're not bothered about it. 2,600. Let's recruit our first troops. And it is interesting that they are considered colonial line rather than line, because I suppose we are colonials. How many turns until this is built? Two turns. Ooh, ministers. Yes, that's what I want, this weird-faced guy. Plus one management, plus one justice, plus one management, plus one management armies. He wants to go to the justice spot. He doesn't want to go to the treasury. You're just pious. Let's move you to the head of government, because you retain your four stars. You're just pious. You're three stars. You're, you're equal. Okay, everyone's a bit bad. Except for you. You. Well placed to sit as my Minister of Justice. So let's punt my Trade Minister. My Treasury Minister. Oh, interesting. That's... I didn't realise that would happen. Normally it's someone fresh. Oh well. Let us check. So we want to get fire by rank. That's going to take some time. We need to upgrade our industry, so we've got a metal working building here and a textile building here, so we'll be able to unlock more of these um, industry technologies. Greece has taken Moose Factory. That is potentially very interesting. Especially as Greece ally with Huron, so this area up here could be ripe for expansion. Let's not go mad. Chamey. No. Sit, hit in turn. Yeah, Spain's building up for something. If they go for Bogota, I've got a bit of time. If they go for New Andalusia, I'm a bit vulnerable. But that's my centre of recruitment. The United Provinces, that's, I mean, oh, lots of these other countries are so much more powerful than I am. Hopefully... Someone gets knocked out very quickly, and then we can go and hoover up all of their colonies. So our treasury is going to go down as we expand our navy. There we go, Dresden's been knocked out. But our treasury will, our income per turn will drop because we're building more troops. But that's not a problem. It's quite a good start, really. 8,400, trade agreement of Quebec cancelled. Fine, let's see if we can snare the Ottomans. Good. So now our trade partners. They've immediately almost jumped to the top. I mean, France is being blockaded, Sweden's being blockaded. Can't do anything about that. Let's upgrade our mines. Okay, May. So our best resource is ivory, as it usually is. So let's go to East Africa with one of our fifth rates, just to see what's going on. But I would like to keep trying to recruit decent warships, because we can't upgrade to a commercial basin yet. That will get us fourth rates, which are really good. 889... That gets that will get us another unit of infantry. So Punda is still tempting, but we need to if we jump on Punda, we need to be ready to defend it from the United Provinces because they have a an army and a decent number of ships which will come at us. Spain's a natural target because they are generally a bit vulnerable, but because they've got lots of holdings in the Caribbean, they're able to create a bit more of a nuisance for themselves. Oh, 
Okay, okay, everyone's ticking along nicely. I believe this turn is when our university will be built. Immediate upgrade it to a college. Start work on fire by rank. War declared. So who's that? The Ottomans in Greece. So bye bye Greece. That's really interesting because then that Rupert's land may become vulnerable. Great when Iron Masters works. Just as we've got no real enemies, let's just go hard on upgrading our economy. Go with the Opera House as well. Increases our number of research points. Not useful immediately because it's we, we are researching military technologies, but I'll take it. Eight thousand nine hundred next turn. So our long term trade partners are gonna start bumping up. Quebec, that's not good. I wonder if Quebec's gonna start squaring up to us. Um, this army that Spain's recruiting isn't super dangerous because they are recruiting them from a uh, one of their territories with a civil building, so it'll be lots of native units plus lots of militia, I would imagine. Let's just slowly keep building up. Oh, I forgot to do my ministers. That's one turn wasted. Oh, pressure's been rebuffed by somebody. You know, land campaign against Panama seems the most logical outcome. It gets us more, more goods to trade immediately. It won't, it won't give us an, a new a new port immediately, I don't think. We will get one down the line. First of all, we need to build an army. Uh oh, Sweden is selling, sending ships to the chop. Fleet arrives. Good. Claim a trade post for the glory of. The glory of Grand Colombia. Good, we've added some ivory trade. So let's go to the Americas. I mean, get this galleon to join them, but be aware of the fact that what I'm doing is... Okay, so you go for galleons. This trade port... Go for fifths, because we still need to build up our navy at the same time. Everything we can upgrade is upgraded, except for the on the military side. So we'll want the great arsenal to get better artillery pieces. Let's get two grenadiers. Actually, we've got 12 pounders, as it is. I suppose you get howitzers, which are always good. I do like howitzer. Keep going for infantry. I wonder if anyone's going to be silly. So France, we're very friendly. What say you? If I give you my entire treasury, fire by rank. No, that's fair enough. What we could really do with is a... Oh, I'm already impaired. What we could really do with is a... Oh, there goes Poland. We could really do with a gentleman to help speed up our research. So, ministers. Treasury minister. Ooh, you. Plus one management. Plus one navy. Plus one management. Plus one management. Plus one... Ma okay, you're my navy guy. Leonardo Marin. I mean, look at that. And he's 33, so he'll be here for a while. You. Harsh reputation. Plus one management. Plus one justice. Plus one management. Yeah, I don't think you're my... Well, you're not as good as my current minister, although... He's plus two for the army. So if I did that... He's not as good, but you can go into here. Because that'll start to cut down on my recruitment cost and sustainment costs, and then you... Just go for the treasury. Excellent. So we're up to 9,200 a turn. Keeping it fairly stable. Let's get a general. 
The Bastian Serrano. So it would be good to jump on them, knock out this fleet, and claim the fifth and the galleon for ourselves. But I do not have... I've sent some ships overseas for trade purposes. Mexico is being Mexico. I mean, I'm really curious about where that army is going to go. We do get some cavalry in my next recruitment as well. It is very tempting though to go for Punda and deliver a coup de grace and just claim the territory for for ourselves, but it will cause uh, a rift with the Dutch. So I might want to wait until the Dutch are embroiled in quite a significant conflict. Otherwise they may focus me and that would be bad. Yeah, Naples and Sicily. For the first time in a long time, our trade route is completely unraided. That's very nice. Afghanistan. The Ottomans are doing good. They're doing okay. Be interesting to see who the ruler of Europe... Oh god, there's a full Ottoman fleet. That's not great. Italian states are on the march. Well, for now, nothing overtly bad is happening because even though I am the human player, no one's upset with us. Except, I mean, Spain should kind of be upset because we were their former territory and they'd probably like to own us again. But it appears they are happy to let bygones be bygones, at least for now. No, my king! Who's going to replace him? Maximino... Wait. King dies! Maximiano I! He is replaced by... Oh, Maximino I! I thought... He is risen! He is risen! And he is amongst us. Okay, plus one management, minus one treasury, plus one army. So you are... Overall, you are... Plus two for the army. Same as you. Because you're... Plus three justice. Plus four justice. I mean, I want to say... Oh, it's frustrating, really. You're the only, the only thing you're good for is the justice side. You are... You're no better at the army, but you're better than him as my head of government. To get some of that more passive increased diplomatic relations and growth per turn of town wealth. Okay. Colonial Light and a Dragoon unit. Plus some Frontiersmen. Because I'm starting to build a bit of a surplus, let's just add some extra ships onto the backlog. Not too many. Upgraded both our mines. Recruitment was done. New national leader. <laughs> My king just, just doesn't like people. War declared between Austria and Spain. That's good. Alliance broken between Quebec and the US. Spain and Quebec are at war. This is very tempting. You? Eh, I shouldn't lie. Okay, that's a bit scarier because they've got fly by rank. To the end of the world, but what it does mean is it puts a greater reliance on cavalry, because my infantry won't. In the end, the, re the result is my infantry won't kill their infantry. My infantry will. Their job will be to pin them in position for my surrounding cavalry to destroy them. Spain is on the warpath, so I think now is the time to get them. If the Dutch die, that we may be able to nab their territory as well. In fact, I think we may as well grab it while they are vulnerable. Because they are... They just got repelled um, from trying to push the push the French out of their home territory. So the Netherlands might be on the on the way out. 
And if I take that territory, they may be even further on the out. But it depends on what their alliances look like. If they've got strong allies, I don't want to go for it because I don't want to make them choose. What I don't want is to get blockaded because right now all my wealth is in trade. And trade is incredibly vulnerable. It's not so bad because we have multiple ports. Um, but a concerted effort from the AI to blockade the home territories will be very, very awkward. Upgrade the Weebs Cottage to f not to full, but as full as we can get. Upgrade the Opera House to the Royal Observatory. Ah, oh, because now you start spawning gentlemen. Increases our tech research rate. Lots of good stuff. Construction report. Good. Fleet arrives. Let's not focus on trying to grab as many as we can. Let's focus on just increase, improving our hold on the ones we have. So the Dutch are allied with Westphalia, Savoy and Britain. And that's spooky. Got lots of allies, Britain does. I think Spain has to, Spain has to be the one I go for, because at least the only person I annoy is the US. That's... Oh, the Dutch also have Paramaribo, which is very nice. I forgot about that. Hmm. Too bad I don't have any visibility on what's going on. I think I have to pick apart the Dutch. It will cause problems with the British if they side with them. Um, but I don't think I really have a choice. Well, I, I have a choice, but I mean, if I want interesting things to start happening, I need to start moving. So your army is generally okay. It could do with a bit more artillery. And Britain is still a good expansion. Op does provide good expansion opportunities if they decide to side with the Dutch. Well, first of all, let's see if they join them. Declare war. I don't have any allies. Yeah, Britain has joined them, which is unfortunate, but not terrible. So we can demand the surrender of Punda, because they have no one to cover it. We can get rid of the College of Divinity. Move the sloop over to Puerto Cabello. And let's maybe add some infantry to that recruitment queue plus a unit of militia maybe because we don't know where this is going to work against us oh i forgot about the rebuilding the government building let's go for two infantry because it's a bit cheaper repair actually no dismantle the military governor's barracks we don't need it to be military um britain peace and trade Yes, that is what I'm talking about. And they really like us. Excellent. So now we've got, um, we can expand into Guyana. France, it would be good to take KN, but I'll take capturing a smaller, well, not a smaller territory. This territory is still valuable. It's got the two mines and sugar, but I do like the spice plantation. Abundant yield of sugar. That's very enticing. 1400... Let's get a sixth ray as well on the go, because now we're going to start building up our elite. Because while our... Once we get fired by rank, we're going to feel a lot better. Uh, no trades. No trades for territory. I don't have a lot of trade to get a, to give away. don't have a lot of territory to give away, I rather. Where is Spain taking their army? That's not good. 
the US was not joined by Spain. Okay, let's recall my army. Here comes the blockades. We might be in quite a squiffy position. But if that happens, I'll raise taxes. Because right now my taxes are very low. The Dutch pits not be fighting the uh, French. But very well. If... Okay, I may have to recall my fleet in Madagascar to try and gain some superiority against the Spanish Navy. Prussia wants an alliance. I do not... Even after, even, even though I'm now at war with a major power, I do not want a alliance with Prussia. Because Prussia's way too involved in the mix. So I think we may be on zero income. It depends on... One of my ports is still free, so it depends on how much trade is coming through there. If it's enough, I'll pull... Well, I will evaluate pulling my fleet back from Madagascar. Fleet. Two ships. Back from Madagascar. So I can jump on one of these Spanish fleets. Probably not incorporate anyone. Eh, maybe some... If I capture a good ship, incorporate them into our navy. But if it's a bad ship, um, ship it away. Break it down for cash. If we're still in a good financial position, I might not worry about it at all. It's interesting, they appear to be going for New Andalusia. If they go for my capital, I can... Well, I'm going to redeploy my ships. 2,400, not bad. They appear to be going for New Andalusia. They may raid my coffee house. But that's okay. My troops will re-embark. I do not believe they'll be able to get here in one turn. Even if they can get here in one turn. Even if they can... No, I don't think they'll get there in... Uh, that's not good. Let's soon find out. Uh, recruit infantry, infantry, frontiersmen. Anything we can get in one turn. Sixth, sixth. Galleon. Nothing coming yet. Port blockaded. Yeah, so this is the stronger one, with a fifth, a brig, and a sloop. So unfortunately, I split my recruitment up, because I've got a fifth here and a scallion there. If those two were both in one place, I could have jumped on this fleet, preventing them from blockading my port, but c'est la vie. Okay, Spain's already blockaded there, at least. They are within range, so next turn... These guys will be my reinforcements. Seven turns till we get fire by rank, but at least we're going to get our Royal Observatory in three turns. Okay, diplomacy. Got nothing to sell. Hit end turn. Because my garrison can get to that Spanish fleet, I that Spanish army, I believe a Spanish army will get to New Andalusia in one turn. Yeah, they're going after my sloop. I should have moved them, but I forgot. They lost a ship, which is good. And my sloop's still okay. Are they going to chase and destroy my sloop? Again, that's okay. If my auto-resolving sloop can get any kills. Uh, still, my sloop knocked out one of their ships. Let's see if their army marches towards my capital. There it is. Will you raid on the way? They've elected to siege Caracas. Interesting move. But not terrible. Not Certainly not from our perspective. And now they've eased the blockade. So we should still be able to make some good cash. And at least we are, we are not an uh, enemy of Great Britain. 
Yes, we're going to be very cautious of the fact they have fire by rank. We do not. So my infantry, I need to wrap around the flanks. Fire upon them from multiple directions. To try and get them to break. And then my cavalry do the killing. Rather than my... Expect my infantry to go toe to toe. Because they just can't. They will never... They will always be outcompeted by... Troops that can fire by rank. The Royal Navy one in the Bristol Channel. <sighs> Let's hope they wait a bit before they take Amsterdam, because otherwise France will take that other territory in Brazil. But even if France do, they might leave me alone and there's only so much stuff I can try and conquer at once. So we need to send an army up towards um, Panama once we've finished here. And send another army to start island hopping. To be honest, Punda's now quite exposed. Because I didn't move my sloop back. There goes Athens. Athens has been captured by the Ottomans. As is tradition. We know that all too well from our campaigns. Oop, are they going to start chugging the campaign already? Probably lots of individual units moving around. Oh, there was some movement. Uh, I, know, I know lots of people will get to this phase and they'll think, oh no, my game is frozen. It's crashed. It's whatever. But sometimes the game does just take a really long time. So where the hourglass is still moving, that still gives hope. And the trick is that... So right now everything's frozen. But when there's a flash of the trees will move for a second... Or the ocean will move, or other stuff will happen. That means it's still going on. So what I'm going to do is chop the recording here and bring you guys back when the turn has carried on. So see you in a second, everyone. And we are back in the game. So it looks like, for now, my fleet in the Straits of Madagascar is unmolested. 6,200 great arsenal built. So all our recruitment is paused because our army is being sieged. Uh, because you've got a new capital building, we can build infantry in Bogota, which is very much required. Because we'll need to reinforce this army and it's also to prevent them from pushing south west, southeast from Panama itself. Um, so let's take my sloop and occupy Octobranda. Let's recruit a sloop. Although, although their navy, well, they've, they've not run away. Galleon, fifth, and a brig. Okay, let's gather my fleet. It's overly strong, but we all know I am rubbish at the. Uh... Actually, can I get recruit anything here? No. Um, I am rubbish at naval battles. So I'm gonna park them here so I don't forget. Um, Punda. Here, don't have any tax. They shouldn't. Asterisk rebel, but we'll soon find out. Sebastian Serrano. What's your horse artillery? Attack Benito de Suria. So again, kind of scary. Um, but they've only got a chunk of their army can fire by rank. Our cavalry is going to need to do some work, as are my general's bodyguard. So let's hop to it. My general may not survive the conflict they may be committed in a suicidal charge which will kind of suck because they cost a thousand uh, twelve hundred ish to recruit but we we have no choice we have to exploit every unit we have available so we can do lots of flanking our grenadiers will hold the center we have the reinforcements from the city uh, off axis. Although I may. I think the way to do the, do this based on it's we're fighting over the town. Deploy. First of all, let's go look at our troops. I'm not imagining anything massively startling. Mustard yellow coats and black cross belts. Bit of red trim. They look alright. 
so my grenades aren't going to hold the center. We're going to form a more traditional battle line. Because what I want them to do is to advance on us and leave their artillery exposed. Then I will send my cavalry to take it out. For now, my artillery focus on their artillery is six pounder, six pounder horse. Commit my cavalry forward because they appear to be pulling their cavalry back. Nope, here it comes. Halt. Position Dragoons. As these units come in, they're going to threaten the enemy flank. I think their artillery is in a bit of a bad place. Ooh, we've got some good hits on the artillery. Oh, are we not one of their artillery teams out? I want to try and I want to try and pull their artillery. I don't know why I'm speeding up. Time. They want to try and pull their artillery into. Oh, go on, hit one of them on the move. And you're still going after their artillery, which is you're doing well. Looks like their general bodyguards are moving forward. But keep engaging their artillery. One more volley. Just see if you can hit them on the move. Excellent. We've taken out one of their artillery teams. That almost bounced straight into an enemy infantry unit, which was really nice. There we go. So my Dragoons forward to knock out their colonial artillery. Push this infantry wing to the right. You men push towards the town, backed up by these reinforcements. Cavalry in general redeploy. Get their artillery. They may try and save it. They will lose it before that happens. Some good hits against their artillery. Yeah, they fired a volley into my dragoons, but they didn't actually manage to manage to kill one. Where's my light cav? Now then my cavalry is getting engaged. Are oh, they routing from from a volley of carbine fire? They're probably going to come back though. Ah, oh, the native auxiliary. I see. Okay, in which case you guys. You guys need to get in here, so to speak, and provide a bit more of a real threat. Well, the cavalry will probably come back. Run out of the way, like, uh, run, 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 run. I oh, know they successfully routed. They successfully took out my men. Hey, cavalry. Push out onto the flank. Massed musketry is doing a lot of damage to the native Pueblo auxiliary.
retarget my artillery to engage their line infantry as it comes in. There you go, their colonial dragoons are routing on the right. Okay, let's fold my right flank in so they can focus their firepower. Some good hits on enemy infantry. Let's chamfer this corner off. Their militia's wavering. Which that Hessian you men form form up and begin shooting them. You men are only walking. Begin running. Excellent. Push my cavalry forward. As they route, we want to make sure we obliterate them. Begin to push. Where's my general? You men go off the auxiliary. You're engaging them. You're pushing in. Retarget the artillery. Although it looks like that's almost a massive enemy. That's a huge enemy route. We want to shatter them, but we want to also kill them. I mean, I'll take shattering. You men engage the enemy infantry at point blank range. Even push around the flank. Okay, go after the enemy general. I see you guys with fire by rank. You are quite scary. Well, I've got artillery superiority now. I suppose I should really focus on units like the grenadiers rather than the militia. When it comes to killing things, here's enemy mounted tribal auxiliary. They're also wavering. They're going to hit my skirmishes, but they are now broken. Go on, light cow. Knock out their general's bodyguard. Some artillery flyers coming back in. Kill them! Kill them all! Hitting this unit in the flank, but they're still getting hit themselves. You men just load and fire. Skirmishes are very powerful in this regard, they've got more muskets to bring to bear. But you broke, that's unsurprising. There we go. Musketmen have broke. Killed the enemy general. Slaughter these grenadiers. Teach them what it means to wage war against us. My routing infantry came back. Excellent. Go for... Hessian line. This infantry form up to engage that enemy infantry there. You should do a real number on these grenadiers. Got a lot of guys trapped right here. Yeah, we are going to continue. Ceasefire. Yeah, they broke. Get the speed up time. Focus on my general killing these, these grenadiers. Oh, you 
might they might not get them because they're so close. Now there we go. Down to one guy left. Okay, let's help my other cavalry go after these native bowmen because they're all spread out. Up to 20. So this army will be strengthened by the units that are being that are being recruited. Then they will make sea will well they need to replenish. Oh they will they replenish? They might just sail. Oh they managed to escape at the last minute. They got one last unit over here. Yeah, you better run. Cause you took a real hammering. Although this army will need to be chased down and destroyed. They've got how many men remaining? 851. They've retreated into the jungle. We will pursue them. And then we will probably auto such a depleted force. And they retreated further into the jungle. So you men, punish what you can. You men will join them. And you'll go after them. Nice. So let's take my ships and go after, pretty sure, Galleon 5th. Brig should be fine. Luis de Cordova. Let's go after them. Because that will at least be the Spanish tasting defeat on land and at sea. Which, that will be quite a good outcome, I think. Galleons up front. Fifths behind. Because the galleon's roughly equivalent to a fourth. So, I suppose enemy galleon and fifth, we want the brutus. Well, yeah, we realistically we want them all. Well, no, we don't want the brig. That can be sunk. But we want these fellas to be uh, to be uh, overhauled in a Colombian port, ready to be put into service against their former masters. You maybe sail like that. Try and cross their T. They will eventually join us and swing to the right. And you can see them making their adjustments to try and match our turn when they can. Make sure we keep closing a little bit. Okay, now don't close. Fire as she bears. So they're going to start shooting at us. We're going to start shooting at them. Current course is very... Perfectly acceptable for us. If they cut across our... Actually, we probably want to go like this. We want to cut their formation in half. You may begin firing chain. Okay, now you're going to focus on engaging... You, you cut across their formation. Okay, you're going to turn. You're going to try. Pivot, get in between San Miguel and Venturador. You might blast San Miguel with round shot. Well, both of them, to be honest.
do like trying to knock out Max. You'll have fire there, the way you'll fire early. If you can get ahead of San Miguel, that would be excellent. Round shot, broadside, get ready. Oh, you're gonna have to turn. Poor little Brig is going to go for it soon. Fire broadside right. So I don't like to fire broadside into the Brig, but I kind of got her. You're going to try and cut ahead of this galleon. Chain, fire chain, because this guy, if I fired round shot, I'd hit my own ship. So you keep turning. You keep firing chain to the back of San Miguel. San Miguel has surrendered. Take that there. Take that there, Galleon. You get ready to square off against this brick here. Got a mate, got a mizzen. A main mast fire, long range round shot, before you get cut off. Nice. Pivot against the brig. All of you just fire round shot. You may fire chain. You all might fire chain just to make sure she wants to try and make sure she doesn't get away. Excellent work. A small but decisive victory for our forces. And we will take that. We will we will uh, send the brig to the to the uh, breakers yard, and we will claim fifth and the galleon. Exceptional work, sir. Get back to Cartagena. And take whatever repairs you can. That's really good. Okay, let's again spend whatever extra cash we've got on recruiting anyone extra we can. Let's hit end turn. No, Quebec, go away. The Spanish aren't going to like what they've just done. Because Panama's going to be ours. That's going to be our frontier. Ooh, there's a Spanish fleet. That, see, that's what I don't like. I don't like when they do that, when they blockade by... See, that's okay. Are they going to try and escape? But I don't like it when they um, occupy my ports. I hate that so much, because now I've got to... It's the damage they do on top of the economic effect of cutting off trade. Um, however, my the good ships that have been repaired will sail eastward. We will engage that single ship... And we will send that ship to the breakers, and then we may... I, need, I might need to recruit some sloops to create a bit of uh, offensive pressure against the Spanish. Otherwise, their, their ports are going to keep churning out ships to try and take me out. Here comes the French Navy. The Marathas are on their way. Ultimately, things are going really well. Ottomans are doing Ottoman things. 
every turn we progress is another turn towards fire by rank and the enemy, enemy will be well and truly uh, out of luck shall we say um, but I'm going to chop the recording here because the Ottomans are being Ottomans so see you in a second everyone and we're off um, yes nothing really happened the, lots of Ottoman ships sailed around but hopefully they're about to get sunk or attacked by someone else looks like Punjab has been obliterated we have a gentleman which is excellent let's get him into Kumana four more turns till we get five by rank let us destroy the remnants of that Spanish army so you men are ready again this it turns out Puerto Cabello is quite valuable for us that's a sixth rate they've built we will dispatch one of our infantry units to the port because they will eventually destroy it. Let's send... So who's here? I'm not going to send anyone to go after them yet. That is a sixth rate, so I will send... You guys, I suspect, will probably be enough. Although, let's send... Let's send two fifth rates. We'll overmatch them. Just want to make sure I've done everything. Denmark's gone. Rioting at Curacao, but now they should be... <laughs> There's nothing to break. But what I want to do is send my... Oh, especially as that's a shipyard. If I send them to San Juan, they won't be able to do anything about that. Although... They could really do with more sloops so if we sit them in san juan they, they'll never be able to take us out unless they land troops to push us out i mean quebec's got us covered here which is really nice of them um but let's take my two two of my fifths send them after juan de langara because we're going to uh dismantle it for um, parts, although they're actually they're knacker. Let's just Los do oceanos that. Son nuestros. Just do that. <laughs> Should really have optimized it, but I'm not that bothered about the optimizing bit. You're going to get to there, push them out. That's fine. Trade we raided. That was us, but it's no longer relevant. So you do get a bit of trade from Esteban de Lezo. What I mainly want is for you guys. To get back, replenish, pick up some reinforcements, go after Panama, because then that's sort of a sore dealt with to the west. Then we want to go after Santo Domingo. Um, let's hit then turn. See, it looks like Spain's building up to just do it again. So we definitely want to knock them out. We don't want to leave them free to do what they like. I want to put a sloop into Puerto Cabello. Per, not Puerto, Puerto Cabello. Well, the port, whatever port they've got in Santo Domingo to prevent them from recruiting warships from that port. And prevent them from upgrading that port. There goes the Dutch. France wants... Oh, Prussia wants an alliance. No. I mean, also more Westphalia, but Westphalia has no coast, so unless they negotiate, well, they, even if they negotiate access, they can't build all these ships. Unless they unless they get territory out in the Americas, we're not going to have to worry about them, so I'm not going to worry about them. Um, oh, the Ottomans were actually shifting along okay for a second there. Nope, same again. Okay, see you in a second, everyone. And we are back. Right. That's right, Russia. Smash the Spanish. That's what I really want to see is... Well, next turn I want to get my ships into... Or Sweden's chasing down the Hanoverians. Um, I want to get my army re-embarked over to Panama. That's what I would like. 2200. Let's boot them out of our port. Stop that. Don't break our stuff. 
Oh, I'm still gonna. It's gonna take a bit of time. Although we've got two units of infantry there, let's do some topping up with some of our smaller units. Something like that. Leave a weaker one behind. Pick up some of the better quality ones. Get them embarked. Land off of... Well, land off of Panama. Get ready to take it. Okay. So this sloop, get back to Puerto Cabello. Otto Brunda, let oh, fourth ration of the line. Let's get two sloops so we can keep on raiding. Bunda, let's get basic roads. Let's not get a government building, but instead let's go after that fleet here. With I mean, I always go for overwhelming firepower. Let's take out that fleet because we want the fifth rate. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you've enjoyed episode one. It's been a bit slow, but we're an emerging nation, and we have to build up our empire. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>